Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. Rows and columns do a great job of laying out widgets on our screen in a really simple and organized way. But what if you want to stack widgets on top of each other? Then we can use what's called a stack widget, very conveniently named. So I'll show you real quick how you can use this widget to add a bit of depth to your apps. Now I've got here my main function running my app, which is running my home page which is a stateless widget and inside I've just got here a blank scaffold. So in the body, let's create the stack and kind of similar to rows and columns, stack also is going to have children. And so I'm just going to create a very basic container of 300 for the width and the height. Now I'm just going to give it a very light blue color and let's copy this and create another container. But this time I'm going to make the blue color a bit darker. And also let's decrease the height and the width to make it a bit smaller. This way you can see how the stack works by default. If I just create a third container there, make the size smaller and let's make the color darker. You can see by default it's going to align to the top left. But instead of positioning widgets side by side from each other like rows and columns, a stack will place them directly on top of each other. Now the crucial important property about a stack is in the code, the first widgets are the ones that are closer to the back of the phone, whereas towards the end, the widgets are closer to the front of the phone. So what I mean is if I place the 300 sized container, the biggest one, at the end of the stack, that's going to be closest to the front of the phone. So if you do this, then it's going to cover the other two smaller objects. So if I bring it back and the smallest ones are closer to the front, then now we can see everyone again. So the order in which you place these actually matters. And of course you can specify this alignment. You can see that by default it's top left, but you can specify to say in the middle, then all the children will align to the center. And if I just center this whole stack, then it'll all come to the middle of the screen. And yep, you can play around with any of these alignment options. Cool, now if you understood that, I just want to show you one last thing before I send you off. Which if I just delete all this and I create a container, and let's just give it a color pink. And if I don't specify a height or a width, then it's just going to fill the entire screen. And so with this in mind, if I create a child for this container, and create a small box here, you can specify the alignment in the container. So I covered this in my container tutorial, so check that out if you need. But the way this alignment works is it requires two numbers, a X and a Y coordinate. And so on the X axis, it goes from negative one on the left and positive one on the right. And same thing for the vertical axis, it's negative one on the top and positive one on the bottom. So if I say like negative one, negative one, that's going to be top left. If I change the Y coordinate to positive one, it'll be bottom left. Positive one, positive one will be bottom right and so on. And zero, zero will be in the center. So when you're using a stack, this alignment can come in handy, especially if you need to be very precise about where you want to position the elements. So I could say like, because these two numbers are doubles, meaning that they're just kind of decimal numbers, you can be very precise in terms of where you want to position them. There's infinite amount of decimal points you can have here, right? So of course, if you just want to use the general alignments like bottom center, bottom left, you can use those as well. But if you want to be very specific about where you want to position them, then using the alignment in this way is pretty useful. And just as an example, like let's just say you're trying to create some like app that requires a clock somewhere on the screen, but you don't want it in a generic bottom left or top right position, then you can use alignment to be like, you know what, I want it to be just near the top, but towards the right and you can adjust the numbers to, to your liking. So hopefully that was helpful and easy to understand. If you have any questions, just let me know below. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!